Now, preparations are underway for Manchester Pride Weekend, the first large-scale event of its kind since the pandemic, and that means tens of thousands of people heading to the city centre. But health chiefs are urging revellers to take care with the monkeypox virus. Stuart Pollitt has just sent us this. Preparations are well underway here for the first full-scale Pride Festival in three years. Lots of excitement amongst people, lots of building work and painting and cleaning up and flags everywhere. Um, I'm joined by Lauren Duffy now from the LGBT Foundation. Lauren, how exciting is it to have the full-scale event back? It's really exciting. This is the first time since the pandemic. Um, there is an issue around monkeypox, though, at the moment. Um, how concerned are you that, that that risks overshadowing Pride or becoming an issue? I think it's really important that we let people know that they don't need to panic. Um, everyone can still come and enjoy Pride and have a great time, but we're, we're asking people to just be aware of the symptoms, check themselves before they come down to Pride, and if they are having any symptoms or feel unwell, then don't come. Um, it's also a really good idea for them to be uh, getting contact details if they've got new sexual partners over the weekend. But actually, we don't need to panic. We're talking about small numbers here. Because, yeah, the number of cases, I think, is 56 in yes. Manchester compared to 3,000 across the country. Yeah. But does a big event like this potentially obviously has the risk of, uh, of causing an outbreak if, if people don't take precautions? Well, I think it's important that we're clear that the transmission route is skin-to-skin um, -skin contact. We're not talking about brushing past someone in the street or standing next to them at a bar. It needs to be more prolonged and closer than that. So people don't need to worry just about attending Pride. Well, thank you very much for your time. We'll be chatting to some of those people who are attending Pride uh, in North West tonight at 6.30, so do make sure you join us then.